Hello everyone, hello, hope you're doing okay, Chocolate Roots here for episode 87 of Stash Watch. Yes, it's been some time, hope you're doing well, it's good to be back. Yeah, those you don't know, long story short, my internet was terrible, but now it's better. <laughs> yeah, so this uh, Stash Watch is basically where I talk about what um, what I've bought recently, what I've got in the, in the, well, in the stash to review in the next, uh, well, presumably the next week or two, really. I mean, hopefully that'll be the case. Obviously, you know, you can only eat so much. <laughs> but um, the plan is to review them soon. Yeah, so it's... um. I know, quite a lot going on really. There's been quite a lot of um, new suites coming out, but it has been actually quite fortuitous in the fact that I couldn't do any, you know, stash watches like this for the past couple of weeks or month really. Maybe a couple of months actually. It's gone quite long, quite, quite quickly, but it's been quite long since I did my last one. Um, but basically because it's been too warm. It's been too warm to do many reviews. It's been too warm to handle the chocolate, things like that. And it's cooled down a bit, you know, might go warm again soon. But um, in the UK, it's just been too hot. So it's probably just as well, actually, that uh, <laughs> at that time that uh, I couldn't do any reviews, things like that. And, um, well, you know, couldn't do any stash watches, things like this. And uh, had to limit our reviews anyway. So, yes, yeah, some good ones. Got a big... Um, selection here actually got a, quite a few things you know so <laughs> be ridiculous on the little uh, side table here or side chair even as it actually turns out to be but um yes yeah hi there rick how are you doing yeah good to see you hopefully the uh there we go yes it's working things are still working yeah i'm doing all right thank you yes yes and how are you doing well you didn't ask how i was but i'm doing okay <laughs> how are you doing yeah it's good to be back it's good to be back and um well there you go i predicted the future there you did ask yeah not too bad thank you yeah very happy to be back my internet is finally as it should be or as i always hoped it to be it's uh, pretty fabulous, actually. Basically, it, it's, it's just basically as good as I could possibly ever wish for now. I'm very happy with it. It's been a, a long time and a very painful time, actually, with such poor internet, but it's not bad. Yes. Remember stuff, college? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. This is it. This is the new Chocolo. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Honest to God. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's the new chocolate. But it, you're probably about to normal um, coming soon, I guess. You know, just one of those. I guess my I guess because I've not been wearing. Well, I don't know. I've been wearing. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Must have been a quirk. Must have just been what's been lying around. I guess. But there we go. <laughs> but maybe it's the future. You never know. <laughs> How are you doing, Rick? How's the chocolate situation where you are? Has it been? Um, what's the weather been like? It's been far too warm here in the UK to do much in the way of chocolate, to be honest with you. It's just been too warm. So past week, it's been okay. But prior to that, so it's probably, just saying before, it's probably been a good time to not actually be uh, too active with stash watches and things like this because I just wouldn't be able to actually review anything, you know. Now, there's Scotty in Vanessa. Good to see you. Yes, in Vanessa, not in Stoke. I thought you were, um, well, you were all over the place at the moment. But yeah, good to see you, Scotty. Glad you could make it. Glad you could make it. Oh, it's been, it has been some time. Yeah, someone says Cadbury's is not, yeah, saying, oh, shame, yeah, you never know, maybe they'll move over at some point, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, from the local tastes in Korea, it does sound like, um, I don't know, a diff well, I don't know, there's a, there's a different taste, let's put it that way, isn't there, really? <laughs> oh, dear, you might need a space after the weather uh, part, Scotty, actually, yes, Scotty's trying to see the weather in, uh, in the Ness, I don't know what it's like, yeah, can't remember, I can't remember it myself now, let's see. See if it works. Caught in a rain shower. It's been it's been a bit like that here basically. It's been a bit back and forth. Nothing, you know. Yeah, been one of those. Yes, well, Chocoberto, Manchester. Conditions are mostly cloudy with a temperature of seventeen degrees. Wind is blowing from the west northwest at sixty miles an hour. Current humidity is nothing. We don't know what it is. <laughs> so I've got um, a few for the members. Of you, I've got these. Um, which I don't know if this is all of them. I, don't, I think this maybe maybe this four, but I think. Uh, this might be it. So walkers have done a sort of like um, a crossover basically where just in regular crisps they're meant to be based off flavours um, of different types of crisp basically. So we've got a Doritos one. Yeah, chili heatwave flavour crisps, there we go. Where is, you know, we're speculating in Discord, but weren't we Scotty, where it's basically just uh, pickled onion flavour crisps, monster munch and what's it. So we're really just you I'm sure they do a pickled onion flavour. Monster um, Walker's crisp already, so we're just speculating whether it's just merely just the same thing as normal, but we'll see. And Scotty there, yes, what's it? Mostly cloudy, windy. 13 degrees, wind is blowing from the west southwest, 30, 20 miles an hour. The humidity there has disappeared as well, so humidity is not uh, reliable on this. <laughs> we are a bit colder where you are, Scotty, a bit colder, 4 degrees. So, so yes, yeah. Oh, well, I hope you're doing all right, but yeah. Even that's Nova Scotia, I wonder if it'll pick it up. Will it pick it up? It might do. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it does, it does know, yeah, maybe, maybe try again without the comma, maybe, mm, I don't know, I'm not sure, yeah, it could be one of those, Rick, it could be one of those where it might work in some cases, it might have to be very specific, I don't know, yeah, maybe if you just, well, yeah, if you lived, if you were actually in that location, it would probably work, 
but because um, you're not, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> for instance, mine, you know, obviously, uh, it's picked up from the UK, so I don't know. It might do some clever, clever shenanigans there. I don't know. <laughs> but yes, one of these will be the members view for this week. I'm not sure. Possibly uh, pickled onion. Possibly that one. But I'm interested by the chili heat wave one. Although I feel like the, uh, I feel like the, I don't know, the chili heat wave Doritos have not been quite as nice recently. So there we go. Well, there you go, it worked. There you go. And it is a different one. 23 degrees. There you are, you see. Yep. Inverness, Canada. I assume it's the same one. It could be somewhere else, of course, but I assume it's the right one. Yes, 23 degrees. So definitely warm in my Scott. It's 10 degrees warmer. 11 miles an hour wind from south, southeast. 75% humidity. So it has the humidity where you are. Maybe it's just because of... <laughs> <laughs> the sentence wasn't as long, I don't know, but there we go. <laughs> yeah, see, on the East Coast, yes. Yeah, I see, very nice. Well, there you go, pretty warm there, pretty warm. Yes, not too, too bad there, really. Yeah, so definitely uh, definitely a bit warmer. Um, yeah, across the pond, I see. Yeah, well, for, well, it's not bad. I, I quite like what the temperature is where we are at the moment, where I am anyway, I double can't speak for Scotty, but it's just about right for me, and it's good for chocolate, you know, <laughs> you can do anything in this weather, uh, but whereas when it gets a bit warm, at least, you know, for me, and it gets into the 20s degrees Celsius, it's just a bit too warm, basically, yeah. <laughs> Not my cup of tea, though, you just can't, I just can't, you know, when you go into, you know, do anything, it gets too warm. I mean, I know, obviously, going to the beach and things will be fine, but for me, you know, yeah. <laughs> So we're talking about the gaming channel. Yes, well, basically for quite some time I've had a, I have had another channel. I've not really done it properly, but I'm trying to look into doing it properly now. So I might, uh, yeah, see how it goes, really, you know, and then I might broadcast it on this one and uh, see if we transfer everyone over. Yeah, so <laughs> but it's obviously gaming. It's just me playing games, basically. I might do some live streaming now. I tried it in the past, but obviously had all these issues with my route and things. It just wasn't feasible in the end, technically, anyway. Um, well, I don't know if it's worth it. I might just stick to YouTube and then, because, you know, it's like now, for instance, you need to have some people who are following you and things to order to watch them and things. And I don't know, gaming's a bit of a funny one. I don't know whether people will be like, I don't know, maybe they will be interested in watching. I don't know. Difficult one. But yeah, at some point, I mean, yeah, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to do, I'm hopefully going to do both in parallel. Um, but that is uh, that is something that, um, yeah, I'm pursuing as well. So there you go. <laughs> I do play games anyway, so it's kind of like, you know, why not? You know, do, um, you know what I mean? So yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> Uh, so what else we got? Yeah, I got a few chocolates today. I don't know if I'll do them all, really. I mean, I don't want to, you know, basically... We'll see what happens with Stash Watch, whether it's going to be on Saturdays now or keep on Wednesdays and things. I'm not sure. I might try and do lookbacks as a live as well, just because just it's a good discussion point, really, you know, for talking about what um, what I've reviewed in the past and things like this, you know, stuff like that. So... Uh, everything, basically, uh, Rick. Yeah, everything. I've got... Um, yeah, play on PC, play on my uh, PlayStation. I, I haven't got an Xbox... One X, whatever it is, the latest one, because basically I, I have it's everything's on my PC, so I don't, I don't. There's no, there's nothing on that that isn't on the PC, basically. So there's not really any point in getting it. But I do have a PlayStation Five and a Switch, um, you know, for the alternatives. So there we go, yeah. So there we go. So I do do a bit of a bit of gaming, but it's just trying to find the time, you know. Not good with keyboard controls. Well, you can use a joypad. You can plug in your Xbox controller. Um, you know, literally USB. It just it works perfectly. You know, you don't have to do anything. It just works, yeah, just plug it in. Um, I mean, you can't get it wireless. I mean, you probably could get it wireless if you did some shenanigans, but um, you can just plug it in by USB, so, yeah, you don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Oh, that's right, yes. Also, you could, um, I mean, it depends what the game is, of course. Some games, you know, just use keyboards, but they're generally ones that, or keyboard and mouse, but they're generally ones that, uh, I mean, it's one of those, isn't it? I think you probably can... There are people who you like the first person shooting games and stuff use keyboards and mouse and things and I feel a bit like that's cheating. I don't know why it just seems too accurate just to click on the screen where you shoot. I don't, I don't, I've not I've not done that really. I've always console gamed it with those games, but um, yeah, but it seems a bit weird. You can create all gamers with using keyboard and mouse. I think it's just easier. It's just more accurate, isn't it? You just click. I think uh, for me, I don't know. I'm sure there is skill involved with it, but it's more about reactions by from what I would gather. Um, but there are people who are really good with controllers as well, but yeah, I don't know, yeah, I mean, just moving a mouse to click on the screen seems a bit, I don't know, doesn't, it seems a bit, I don't know, yeah, more like a point and click game rather than, <laughs> than anything else, but there you go, what do I know, <laughs> yeah, it's got some good exciting ones this week, I mean, look at this, look at this, Cadbury Caramel for Australia, new, yes, Marvis Creations, Jelly popping candy, carrot candy, well, don't know if I can speak. Jelly popping candy, beanies in caramelized white chocolates. Yeah, it looks very, uh, very interesting. I mean, I'm quite excited for this one, actually. I'm going to review this today, I think. I might do a short on what I'm going to review. Um, 
You know, so we go, yeah, StarCraft League of Legends, yeah. I think, well, there are, so they are a bit more point and clicky ones, I think. I wouldn't use a controller for those. Um, you know, like, sort of like RTS style, real time strategy games, aren't they, really? So, yeah, so I think they're more suited to the keyboard and mouse, I think. Yeah, it does look a good one, doesn't it? It does look very nice, this one, actually. This one, B&M in the UK. I don't know what B&M stands for. But yeah, Camera's White Chocolate. It does look really nice. Cadbury Camera Milk in Australia was pretty good, has to be said. Um, so I am very excited for this one. I think this could well be a winner. I do like the uh, Marvel's Creation in the, in the middle. Sort of like the chewy candy bits and stuff. And Australia tends to get those right as well. So the, the Camera Milk is one thing in the Australia they've definitely got over the UK. Um, still nice in the UK, but... Um, and then, of course, yeah, they usually fill things so much with these. So I'm very excited for that one. I can't wait for that one. I think that could be potentially be a 5 out of 5. We'll see. It does look a good one, though. I'm very excited for that one. Yeah, good. have to get that one out as soon as possible. Now, I do have these ones. Well, I'll probably have to review these soon. I don't know if I've reviewed these before. I don't think I've, but I might have done. 10 salted caramel flavour marble bites. Ripple, chewy brownie and blondie with a hint of salted caramel dipped in milk chocolate. Yeah, not much. Well, I guess it is. Yeah, so these look very nice. A marble top. Ten of them rather than the eight, because not kind of a limited edition one. So they give you more for probably the same price, so that looks quite nice. But they all they have the old tray problem where you could probably fit in more, you know. <laughs> but um, but at least, you know, I say there is ten this one. It's bigger than the eight the eight size one, but there's still gaps in it. The you know, in the eight tray one, you could technically fit in ten pretty much, you know. Yeah, so it's a bit rubbish really. Yeah. So there we go. But yeah, interesting. Um what else we got? Well, we've got this one as well. I think yeah, if you're in Discord, you'll have seen these already. But uh, uh, yes, we a chat about my with those. Now I've got my with those in a minute. But uh, there we go. So yes, Cadbury uh, Dairy Milk. Mint Breakaway. Look at that. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Dairy Milk Milk Chocolate with layers of crispy wafer and creme and a creamy choc mint flavoured centre. Yeah, look at that. Looks very nice indeed. So this, these ones are a bit airy though, these ones. They do have a bit of a gap at the top. I, was, I noticed when I did review where uh, similar Breakaway Bar. This is basically Time Out. They've, Rebranded timeout as breakaway in uh, Australia, so you still get timeout, which is good in a way. Um, it is under the Dermot brand as well, which is nice. But unfortunately, Dermot Australia isn't quite as good as Dermot UK, unfortunately. Yeah, so that is a bit of a bit of a shame. That a bit of a shame. But there we go. Hmm. So, you know, one of those. One of those. What games are you into, by the way, Rick? Uh, didn't forget to ask actually. What games you like? Um, yeah, have to let me know. Let me know. Oh dear, but yeah, it's good to be back. As I say, it's a shame it's been so long and been a bit inconsistent. But it's one of those really. The problem is I've had to kept it going in the past. It just would have been, you know, would have started streaming and it would have gone off. Or I wouldn't be able to make it. And it was just becoming a joke, really. So, yeah. But now, as I say, um, my connection, internet connection is just ridiculous now. So it's actually gone from one extreme to the other. So uh, basically, I could probably stream in four. Well, I definitely could stream in four games. Maybe even 8K, who knows. But I'm um, not, not going to do that. I don't think there's any point. <laughs> uh, might be, I don't know if it'll have any negative effects on people as well, if you're watching it in a different, uh, yeah different format as well so i think it's worth keeping it you know phone gaming nowadays yeah a lot of people do that nowadays don't even play on the phone i, I i've never got into it on the phone i must say i've, I've always i was always uh, put off by it by the fact that it, all of it's pay to win and things like this or pay to play and stuff and i uh it put me off a bit really and i've never really done it to be honest with you i tried some games but yeah i don't know but i know it is big in korea and um i think japan as well isn't it mobile gaming i know that's kind of the thing um so yeah so it's always in your hand. It makes sense. It is always handy. And of course, if you got it anyway, you don't have to spend any more money. So, you know. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you don't uh, You don't pay. Not hard copy. Well, I don't either. I must say. It's just, well, the thing is, it's just because of the nature of them, really. I kind of feel a bit like it's, um, I don't know, you kind of, rather than paying for the game, you're paying to win, really, if you know what I mean. You're not all paying to sort of have the ability to unlock things quicker, you know, generally in these, a lot of these games. And I feel like that's not my cup of tea, really, yeah. But, you know, but sometimes the game is free, so I guess normally you would pay something for a game, so maybe it's maybe it swings around about us, but, mm, yeah, I don't know. Another one we did have, yes, another great one here, look at this. Yes, Capri Dream Raspberry Bites. These look very tasty indeed, look at that. Very tasty indeed. Dream white chocolate uh, bites with raspberry flavoured candy pieces. That's another great one there. Some good ones now. You can see it's, I mean, it even looks at it at the back half empty. Unless I'm not individual wrapped though, but uh, you can see it's just, it's just half empty. It's literally half empty, if not more, because there's a crimp at the bottom. If you take that away, I mean, look at that. 40%. 
it's crazy. It just does not need to be in that big a wrap. It just does not need to be in it. But nonetheless, you know. If you're Android, you can install all the Nintendo Sega Genesis emulators and play all the classic games. Well, this is very true. Yes, I'm not. I've um. Long story short is I uh, you know <laughs> I have tried I've done things like that similar in the past and things so you know I do I do have the old uh, all the old games and things well a lot of them I do like to play them again obviously you can't really these days not having a CRT TV and stuff like that it's a bit difficult um, so I've um, you know, tried doing that so I could play the old classics again but the problem is I've, there's so many games to play as well it's just difficult to just you know yeah find the time for everything these days and I've got Xbox Game Pass as well you know not in any way endorsed by Game Pass um, but they just you know if you've got that you just get games thrown at you left right and centre and the and new games as well as well as classic ones or classic ones modern classics um, and just other ones it's very difficult to keep on top of them it really is you know um, to have the time these days in the old days I'm able to do it but these days I don't know yeah well, these ones look good too. Yes, they do. Very good. A good selection here. Well, being them have uh, excelled themselves this uh, this past couple of weeks. Yeah, so I've got these as well. Definitely have to review those this week, hopefully. And a couple more from today. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do two many. I don't know. If, I'm gonna try and be careful with how many I review every week. And we'll probably do about four. I used to try and aim for six, but I don't know. Now I've got to try and be sensible now. I'm not sure. But there you go. Look at these as well. Look at that. Yes, Maltesers gold. I think these are from, I don't know where these are from actually, I don't think they're from the UK. Uh, I think they're from must, must Australia again. So look at that. So it looks like, uh, what does it say? Oh, does it actually say what they are? It says gold chalk coating. So what that is, who knows? Um, gold chalk coating. Milk chocolate contains, well it is milk chocolate, 25%. Oh no, it just says chocolate. Oh no, milk chocolate. I don't know. I don't know how that's worked. <laughs> Chris Moore Centre's covered with chalk uh, coating. One for you. Two for me. I like that. That's definitely uh, the way it should be. <laughs> Those are faces of some person, but it's not. Yeah. I admire Cadbury. They keep pumping out new chocolates. And they've done pretty good, haven't they? Well, in Australia, definitely. In the, in the UK, tend not to do it as much. But in Australia, they're constantly doing stuff. And I must say, it's, you know, it's weird as well. You just wouldn't have thought it, would you, really? But in Australia, Cadbury just do so much stuff. And it's so impressive. Really nice, and uh, it's a good. I'm just glad we can get him imported, really, for a reasonable price at B and M. Generally, um, you know, just really good, really good. I don't know how they manage it. It was like that uh, cream egg bar that we saw the other week, uh, Rick. That post, you know, I think you saw uh, comments on the review of. I mean, that one's from Australia as well, you know, and yeah, you'd think they'd do that in the UK. I mean, you really would, but no. So a bit of a shame, really. But even other ones like this. I mean, this is uh, you know, whoever, is it Mars? I think. Uh, do more teasers, I think it is. Um, yeah, um, that's that's, and they, even they do loads of different ones, you know. So interesting one, but yeah, it does say it seems to be milk chocolate at least on the import uh, label there. Let's mention white chocolate. Milk chocolate tastes minimum of twenty five percent cocoa, solids and twenty two percent milk solids. So I don't know how they've got the milk chocolate to be that color. You know, normally it's white chocolate, isn't it? Or just I don't know really what they've done, but there you go. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Very nice indeed. Um, so you could have more, there could be more shenanigans on the one on the stuff underneath. You never know if this is right or not, but you have to assume it is. Those Mars cookies looked awesome. They, I was very happy with those actually. I was very happy. I know Scotty was a bit uh, not too impressed. At least thought they looked better than the uh, they tasted, but um, that could still mean they tasted nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was I was very happy with them. Very happy. Yeah, very happy. And I was surprised actually because I was expecting. Um, I don't know, I was expecting them to just not be that great, but I was uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, but there's other ones coming out as well. One was a caramel sensor, so check those out soon. I'll probably try and get those out Monday, Tuesday. Uh, well, maybe Tuesday, actually. I think it's member review on Monday, generally. Um, if I can do it. Now, I should be able to a lot more easily. Basically, my <laughs> uploading my videos, or even doing that, uploading the videos, it used to, sometimes it would take two hours to upload a video. Uh, and I need constant attention to follow. Now, it's taking four minutes, basically, to upload. No matter what the video is, it seems to take four minutes, basically. Um, so it's pretty amazing that you know oh, need to sneeze. I think. I think so. I know it's gone. I think it's gone. Yes. Okay. Before I need to sneeze, but it went away. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah. I mean, my my internet it's really solved so many problems for me. Honestly, it was becoming a nightmare. It was becoming a, a, a literal nightmare trying to get the stream and upload videos and things. You know, you're trying to do them for the evening. Figure out. You know, after work, I'll do this video. And then you finish it at six, seven o'clock. You try and upload it, and it's not uploaded till nine o'clock. You know, so it's they're too late by then. And then you think, well, maybe I'll put it for tomorrow. And then I don't know. It's just it's just a pain when you're just trying to get things up and running. So maybe I, maybe I should just put them for the next day. And I was trying to do that, but 
you just you feel sometimes it's been a couple of days since the last one and you want to get it up there and you know yeah so difficult one really difficult but yeah not too many more for today so uh, let's see let's see it's probably going to be a short one let's see how's the situation there back to the office or not so um, basically yes and no is the gist of it and um, we can basically we've we've it's, it's so much easier to work from home nowadays and um yeah, we just, the, my, luckily my company and bosses, you know, management and things are quite okay with us working from home, really, I think. And it's generally, there's just not enough office space generally as well. So I think they sort of, it was kind of for us now, but it wasn't for a time. Um, but yeah, it's just, um, you know, I do sort of IT shenanigans, so it's just quite, it, it, it complements the job, really, to sort of work from home quite a lot. And I must say, it's... Uh, just you get a lot more done it's you, you know nowadays you it's, it's you just it's too much noise in the office and things like that i must say when you go in it's just so noisy and things like this um because we often share with other departments now when it was just you know it and things it's quite quiet um just the nature of the people generally in it they don't tend to make a lot of noise although there are some exceptions um but um but sometimes we're sharing offices with other people because it's all hot desking and things and they're just a lot no more noisier, you know, and you, you'd want to concentrate on what you're doing and things like that. It can be a bit of a pain, really. So, But you do miss seeing other people, things. There is that, you know, so it's nice to see your colleagues and stuff like that. But then sometimes, because we don't always work in, you don't see them if you go in. You know, you go in, and you, you might be only you and someone else from your immediate department. So it's kind of, unless you're all in, it doesn't, it ends up a bit pointless. But yeah, it's, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, how about you? How's things where you are? Is it uh, much the same or different progress? I must say it is a progression, I think, to allow working from home. It's just... I mean, you know, if you if you're that way inclined, it's a lot better for the environment. I mean, it's a lot better for a lot of things like that, just not having to travel in and things. But um, but from a personal perspective, it's just a lot more, just a lot better. It's just so much nicer. You don't have to, you know, you save an hour a day on travel and things. So you say you got money, you know, money back in terms of time. Um, and to be honest, with you, you're more available. I mean, there is the the downside that you're kind of more available. You're more likely to, you know. Like in if you're in the office, once you left the the, the office, you you've gone, you know. But <laughs> but at home, you kind of still sort of reachable because you might still be on the on the desk. Like for me, for instance, you know, I will have my work piece in on one side, and I'll be editing the video. So if I see something, I think I need to reply to it or whatever, I'll do it. You know what I mean? So it's kind of swings and roundabouts, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, what situation like with you, Rick? What's it? Uh, he's a workaholic, so the answer, <laughs> yeah. So uh, they uh, they answer um, for the work. And all right, okay. Well, I think. Uh, I mean, I was watching a video. It's Japan. It's not Korea, so it could be completely different. And um, but um, but I know where. Obviously, Japan's got some, well a work culture that's quite a bit like that as well. And I think it's it was saying that um, you know it, it's a lot of it, but just keeping up appearances almost, just being seen to be there. You know, even if you're doing nothing, it's just the fact that you're there. You know, uh, it counts for something. You know, so yeah. A lot of management anyway. Yeah, yeah. I must say, I I, I don't know if I didn't. Yeah, it would be um, definitely a barrier to me, uh, to my enjoyment of living there, I think, just having to just work ridiculous hours, get no holiday. And uh, I don't know if it's the same in Korea, but in Japan, because there's a stigma about taking your holiday. You know, even that's frowned upon. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I don't know how you cope with it, Rick. I mean, it must be, well, I hope, I'm sh sure the reason you moved there is worth it. But, you know, <laughs> I'm sure there's times where it's quite difficult. But hopefully, hopefully it's going well. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I mean, you've been there for some time now, so it must be going all right. <laughs> Yeah, similar robotic place. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny, but you know, yeah. I think in the UK it is definitely, I would say, probably on the more relaxed of places. You do get reasonable holidays and, you know, I think the work culture is not so ridiculous like that, you know, but maybe maybe that, maybe it's also in the wrong, I don't know, but I'm certainly not complaining, I think. You know, I think it's definitely a good balance as far as I can see. <laughs> yeah, so possibly the last one for today, I think, yes. Is the coconut uh, flavour M and M's inspired by Bounty? What's funny way in Australia? I assume it's an Australian one. They always say inspired by the thing. You know, it's never. <laughs> I never saw Bounty edition. It's always inspired by. Um, which is one? This one's definitely fun. You can feel how much. I mean, there's still a lot of empty space in this one. To be fair, I was going to say actually, you can tell there's a lot more in this than the uh, the Raspberry Bites ones. But I don't know actually. I'm not sure. It's not too different. And what's the weightage? Um, that's 160 grams, you can see at the top. 130, yes, there you go. So, you know, yeah, I think it's 912. Just over a quarter, under a quarter more, a fifth more maybe. Yeah, something like that, anyway. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yes. 
You have to consider other colleagues' work and status to make sure they don't upset him by taking time off. Yeah, so yes. <laughs> yeah, honest to God, yeah, I know. Heaven forbid, heaven forbid. Eminem's bounty, oh yes, Eminem bounty, yes. This is Australia as well, this one, Australia one, yeah. It's strange, I mean, I know, it's just a shame you just live slightly too far north, I think, because I'm sure Malaysia and um, possibly Indonesia get all the Australian products, or at least they have the, they have Australian and Indonesian addresses on the back end, often anyway. Um, at least on the Cadbury's ones, they seem to have. At least I've noticed it in the back sometimes. But yeah, but it looks like, you know, yeah, I guess Korea's just a bit too far away. Although I don't know if they've got a conceit on this, in this instance. Um... Typically, I have seen them in the past, <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, got a bullet fly there. Yeah, can you get any imported stuff where you are? I mean, I guess maybe not really. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, but I say this isn't the UK one either. We're quite lucky. I don't know how they get it up here. I mean, obviously, Australia's a lot further away to us. I guess it's just the demand here. But I don't only see these in like B&M and places like that. I don't see them in just regular shops, you know. And so B&M, um, it's, like, it's basically like a discount store here, it's not like a a big chain or anything, but they do have big supermarkets. They're just known for being like a value store, really. But um, but I must say, you know, um, it's a great shop, really, for sweets and things. I mean, it has a lot of other stuff as well. I don't generally buy other things in there because they don't tend to just don't tend to have everything. They don't, I mean, they do have freezer sections in some of them, but they don't. The ones I I had went to that did have, they seem to have removed it now. But they sell all sorts of stuff. It's a bit like a Lidl almost, or an Aldi if you have those. But um, but again, without freezer sections, but it has like. Random other things, depending on where you go, they have like toy sections and garden sections and plants, you know, garden centers and things. It's crazy. And if you holiday, any holiday flight plan, nothing this year, nothing this year, uh, to be honest with you. I, I, I just want a bit of a rest this year, to be honest with you. I'm not a massive holiday per well, I'm not a massive traveling person. I know a lot of people love to travel and things, they want to go here, there, and everywhere. For me, I'm not, it doesn't, you know, I don't mind things like that, but I'm not. It's nice to say I've been to places and things, but, you know, I, I quite like just to relax and, you know, play my games and stuff like that, you know, I'm just, yeah, you know, but some at some point I might uh, might go somewhere, but yeah, I see some friends, I do meet up with some friends, but generally we, you know, we meet up and, as I, um, yeah, do sort of various, you know, probably just play games and stuff like that, really, it's quite nice to do those sort of things, um, but last year I went to Rome, which was quite nice, but this year, you know, nothing immediate, I'll just be seeing family and stuff like that throughout the at the time, but not actually holidays, holidays, so yeah, but you know, might, you never know, something might crop up, something might crop up, yeah, how about you Rick, anything there, and if I should go out to Canada much Rick, um, do you stay, yeah, because it's quite expensive, not a, quite a long flight as well, yeah, well, hopefully you'll find something in anyway, and get to some time for something, I'm sure you will, <laughs> oh dear, let's see. Yes, that's roughly it, roughly it, everyone there, roughly it. I mean, the thing is, is I've got more in the stash that I've not reviewed. I might, show, we're not showing, I might show it next week, maybe for another stash watch. I might do a, a live uh, look back next week. We'll see, I'll have a think about that. Don't know what to do yet. Might do a stash watch midweek, maybe. Well, I don't think I'll do it midweek, I think it's too soon. But yes. Hi, Alan, hi, we're just possibly wrapping up, Alan. Good to see you, though. Glad you can make it, yeah, back back online. I don't know if you saw the update earlier on, but long story short is the internet is fine now, and it's brilliant. Yes, so there we go. <laughs> Yeah, no, don't get home too often. Maybe next year. Yeah, it's expensive and a long way, and you know, yeah, and you probably want to do holidays where you are, don't you, with uh, you know your partner and things. So yeah, not too bad. Hi, there, Leon. It's been some time. I'm not doing too bad. Thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, good to see you, Leon. Good to see. You. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. See you next time. Yes. Yeah, it's been a good one. Good to be back on stash. Well, I say we just got to the end of it. So those of you who missed it, <laughs> I know I didn't publish it. I didn't broadcast it earlier. I wasn't. I was umming and ahhing about whether to do it or not, and I, you know what to do and stuff. But I might try and start publishing them earlier as well. But to be honest with you, I don't know if I want to do that really because it, maybe people won't see it or forget about it or something. You know. But then we did the uh, yes, the Daniel Mint Breakaway. Not too bad at all. Did the uh, Thornton's uh, Salted Camel Bites. Oh, marble flavour bites. <laughs> it's got a blondie, brownie sort of stuff there going on. Now, this one looks absolutely lovely. The Cabri Camel for Australia, Marvis Creations, Jelly Popping Candy Beanies, and Caramelised White Chocolate. So, yes. we will probably review a couple of these after this. Probably far too many of these, I don't know, but there we go. And the Cabri Dream Raspberry Bites. Dream White Chocolate Bites with Raspberry Flavoured Candy Pieces. Yeah, look at that. And yes, indeed, yes. What else do we do? The old M&M's uh, Inspired by Bounty. Coconut flavour, yes. No, most of these Australian imports, but other than the, uh, other than the Thorntons, I think. <laughs> and then we did have the gold Maltesers. Look at that. 
cold Maltesers. Yes. Not bad. It says milk chocolate, I think, but uh, Chris Malt sends us covered with gold chocolate coating, but it does describe it as milk chocolate on the import sticker. Um, milk chocolate is minimum 20% cocoa and 22% milk solids. And probably for the members, yes, bronze and above, probably do review these Walker's Doritos, but we also have the uh, Monster Munch. <laughs> these are just regular Walker's crisps, so they're not actually Monster Munch and Doritos and what's it's. But they're just uh, basically regular crisp flavoured in these ways. I'm inspired by them. limited edition ones, yeah, so... Yeah, not bad at all, not bad at all. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much, Alan, thank you, yeah. A good session to keep me going. I was saying, I'm trying to diet at the moment now, so I'm probably not going to review all of these. I'm going to have to be very careful. Um, you know, yeah. So, you know, I'll probably review a couple today, a couple tomorrow, basically. Maybe three tomorrow, we'll see. <laughs> Yes, you're great, folks. Keep it up. The very good work as always. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Leon. Very nice you to say. Very nice you to say. Yeah, it's good to see you as well, Barry. Great to see you. I'm glad that you could make it. I mean, basically, uh, the lives have been, you know, I've just not been able to do them recently because the mindset was terrible, but I've sorted out now. I've actually got proper full fiber, full super duper broadband. It's just, it's just, it's on another level as to what I used to have. As long story short, is, you know, I could, yeah, it's. The sky's almost the limit, I think, now with my internet. <laughs> Probably too much so, really. But I'm definitely going to take advantage of it. You know, everything's going to be a lot better. So I'm going to try and do uh, more lives, I think, or, you know, get back on track. I'm going to perhaps do look, look back lives, I think, as well. Um, so I probably won't do live reviews, I don't think. Because I just, I was saying in the update, you know, I won't, so I won't go a bit too much. That I probably, you know, probably just too much, really. But I think I'll try and do some more interactive um, live, you know, things where I can talk to you about things rather than just eating stuff. Um, I think that's what I'm going to try and do, really. Um, so Stash Watch is a good one because obviously it's a nice one just to be able to chat to you all um, and talk about new chocolate and things like this. Uh, and obviously look backs would be quite good because it'd be looking back at what I reviewed five years ago and a year ago. We could talk about that and whether we all remember things that are no longer, you know, available, whatever it could be the case from five years ago and things like this. And um, even one year ago, because some of them could be important. So I think that'd be quite good. As I say, I don't want to make them too complicated. When I reviewed did look back uh, regularly, it was quite a complicated um a fair you know of all the graphics and things to doing it live i don't think i could really do it because i have to update things on on the fly and things if i was going to do that i would need someone else probably to create the graphics on the fly <laughs> which i you know it's, it's just too much i don't think it's worth it really so i don't know how i'm going to do it i'm going to have to probably do some research just pick a few things and um, just say these are the things i look back this is what i scored them and sort of give a bit of notes about what i said and just say whether i still agree with them things i think just keep it like that keep it simple and um, don't overcomplicate things if you overcomplicate a it just becomes difficult to maintain, and B, you know, it's just, yeah, it just, well, it's just more complicated, basically. I don't think it needs to be. The idea is to have a bit of a conversation with yourselves and, um, you know, between me and you about all the different things and the review and stuff like that. So interesting. Yes. Have you tried the Maltese's Orange? I might have done. Uh, I can't remember, actually. I feel like I have done, but maybe I haven't. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. Uh, let's see. Malt. So look at the old uh, review list. Let's have a look. I don't think I have. Uh, hang on. I've done 33 things with malt in it. Um, have I done orange? I've done the orange truffles. I've done orange Maltese buttons. I've done orange Maltese biscuits. O orange Maltese ice cream. Maltese orange bunnies I've done. <laughs> uh, but I don't think I've actually done just regular orange Maltese. So I don't think I've seen those now. So I have to keep an eye out for those. I don't know if I've got them in. I might have them in the stash. What in the stash? I'm not sure now because I've had about a month of not reviewing things very often because of the weather. But I don't think I have. Have you had them then, though, Leon? What did you think if you did? Hopefully you enjoyed them. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Yeah, it sounded an interesting one. Good as made them. Yeah, quite a few Maltese. <laughs> but no, they do sound a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll have to keep an eye out of the... Well, let me know. Let me know if they're out. And I don't know if you're in Discord, uh, Leon, but yes, uh, feel free to join up to that. Obviously, you can let me know of things um, outside of the lives as well. Uh, be quite interesting. The link's just a bit further up, actually. You can see Nightbot's link to it. But yeah, so there we go. Interesting. <laughs> but yeah, basically, long story short is I'm not going to show any more things I've got in the side. I do have more things, but I need to keep it realistic because I can't uh, review everything. I, I'm probably going to say going to do about five, four, maybe five reviews a week. I've already shown about uh, eight or nine things, you know. <laughs> you don't think orange waters actually exist? Well, that's probably why I've not had them then, yeah. <laughs> but they have been there, uh, but there are a lot of Maltesers orange products out there. As I mentioned, there are actually a few there, but not actual orange Maltesers. But there are a few other things. 
Yeah, so there you go. So it just goes to show. Just goes to show. <laughs> right then, right, Alan, yes, and uh, Rick as well, and anyone else who's watching, and Scotty from before. It's been great to chat to you all. Good to be back. Really, it's good to be back. Hopefully, as I say, we'll be doing at least one live a week. So keep an eye out. Wednesdays and Saturdays, basically. 7 p.m. UK time on Wednesday, and 4 p.m. UK time on Saturday, generally. But obviously, you know, watch this space. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Alan. Have a good one. Like the Yorkie, uh, the Yorkie, um, well, what would you say? Image, profile, photo, yeah, avatar. I'm not sure what you'd say these days, but liking it, liking it. And of course, the blue chocolate bar, always good. <laughs> thanks very much, Alan. It's great to see you, Alan. Have a good weekend. And have a good weekend, Leon, as well. And Ricky, if you're still there, and Scotty, of course. Have a great time. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. See ya. <laughs>